So this is the outcome of the module two final attempt for the assessment, module two. You'll notice that the average was a 4.43. And given that some questions were refined and changed, um, not everyone was, but uh, what we have is a breakout where uh, students scored either in the 90s or the 80s. And uh, so what will happen is that I'll go back through there and retain the highest score. No reconciliation would be required. But if you did make mistakes on the retake for either module one or module two, it may be a good idea to find where that mistake is and then uh, drill down to understand the conceptual gap with uh, methods or concepts. Does that make sense? Um, as we wrap up module three, uh, basically what I'd like to do is send an email and ask you if you have a preference about engaging uh, a midterm cumulative exam. After you uh, engage the module three assessment, you have the option to uh, take that up. We'll have, we'll definitely have two modules, possibly a, we'll have a fifth, a fourth and a fifth, possibly a sixth module. Before the semester is over, we're going to uh, focus on selected topics and drill down in uh, three key areas inside the operating system before the season is out. So you could um, opt to, or you could elect to engage a single cumulative exam finals week, or you could respond to the email just to me, not reply all uh, with your preference. And uh, basically uh, I'd like you to make that decision together with me as a class. What's the trade-off? Well, if you have a single cumulative exam, um, what that means is that that one exam will be worth slightly more, but it also means that there will be less overhead as we take up modules four, five, and, and six. Um, usually for a cumulative exam, it's 90 minutes, it's 55 to 60 questions, it's worth 10 points of your grade. Um, that would require, you know, some, some review and and, and some time to be set aside in a week. Um, we only need one true cumulative exam for the semester. Uh, typically, if things are percolating well, we'd have a midterm and a final. There have been some delays associated with uh, system updates and uh, unexpected challenges with regard to uh, student personal technology. And uh, those things have even hit on our screen, right? So speaking of our screen, uh, I did want to call out to you, you should have received a notice, two notices, one over the weekend about um, the new version of Windows 10. There is a new feature update for Windows 11 that's already been out there. Um, if you, you both said that you have, seen this, and this is the reference that we're talking about. There was a feature update and it said, if you want to load this optional update uh, to do so, I sent something in an email and I, I'm basically walking through this for other students who will watch the recording. The new version is 2.2.h2. It is an entirely new operating system, a forklift replacement of the kernel. The build, is 19045. And what we're finding is that the changes that were implemented when you finish loading the rest of the cumulative updates for this build, so everyone should be at 2130. When you do this, a lot of things fall into line with VirtualBox version 7.0.2. Okay. So that's good news. We've been scratching our heads trying to figure out, okay, how to remedy this thing walk through re rebuilds in, in uh, more than one class. And, and I wanted to tell you that uh, this seems to do the trick. It wasn't just Oracle products that needed uh, a serious uh, facelift. 
but also Windows 10. You, know, you may find that there are some serious updates on a Mac environment. In, um, inside Monterey, there are several incremental updates for Monterey. If you're on, uh, I think it's 12.6 or something like that. There are incremental updates. And uh, so everybody needs to make sure they're running. Uh, which version of Windows do either of you, of you have? Those, those who are in the class this morning, are you working Windows 10 or Windows 11? I have 10. You have 10, okay. So you would want your screen to match precisely like this one after you're finished, if, if you haven't already done so. It might, might be good to go, right? Now, the deceptive thing that's frustrating here is this date, right? So, I mean, I just loaded this feature update and uh, you would think that uh, the feature update would also uh, update the, the original date that the uh, OS was loaded, but I guess there's a legacy date here where I rebuilt this laptop and loaded from scratch. Um, Luke? How are you and which uh, version of Windows do you operate with? I'm on Mac OS. You're on the Mac OS, okay. Yeah. So you're on some flavor of Monterey, right? Some. Yeah, I'm on Monterey 12.6. Um, I just checked this morning and there's a new um, like full version out and it's 13.0. How about that? A major version upgrade. Yeah, um, Ventura. It's ben, Ventura. Ventura. Yep. Well, I know that that Apple tends to do a better job of vetting their major releases. I would recommend uh, migrating to Ventura if you can. I mean, if your disk yeah. space allows, I would. I would not waste any time based on the inconsistencies I've seen on the Macs I have to work with. Good morning, Shanoa. Morning. So we were just checking in with everybody and asking if uh, if they were on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or on a Mac. Which flavor are you engaging? Uh, I'm on Windows 11. You're on Windows 11. And uh, earlier this season, they did have a feature update for Windows 11. Uh, what what uh, build are you on with Windows 11? Could we share a screen? Is that, is that is that okay? That's fine. Okay. If you would share your screen. And uh, yeah, I do have a version of Windows 11 in the mix. I can access it remotely. Uh, by the time I get back from the states in a bit, I'll have one locally I can work with. I'm really excited about that. Brand new system. And uh, it will host our virtual machines. So if you hit updates, Windows update, does it, is this the latest uh, feature update? Oh, look, look. See, a preview of coming attractions. So for individuals that have been experiencing headaches with VirtualBox on Windows 11, help is on the way. And a new version, 22H2, when it comes out, uh, we've I was just sharing with the other uh, students, Shanoa, that basically um, when people are loading this 22H2, a lot of the issues they've been having with virtual machines tend to melt away. So. Um, if, if your platform allows you the disk space to go ahead and do it as soon as it's out, I would, um, I would sign up for that and load that as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you for sharing that, Shanoa. Um, I'd like to share one more thing with folks. And then I will turn you loose for the day unless you'd like to stay in session for assistance with assignments and solutions. So <clears throat> I did post, we just reviewed that the retake for module two was complete. In module three, I did post the assessment. 
And essentially, uh, we need you to complete your first attempt of the Module 3 assessment by 11 a.m. Thursday this week. So the material's been out there for quite some time. I just want to call this out one last time. The addendum in particular for the references in here, the study guide addendum is really important to, uh, to review thoroughly. It's in the references folder. And um, it does cue you into some sections of the textbook that may be helpful, but um, there you have it. So what we'd like to do is review everyone's first attempt at the module three assessment when we start class on Thursday, and then we'll post the reconciliation out there. Um, please remember, I will be sending an email about your preference regarding cumulative exams or exam. And at this point, what I'd like to do is stop sharing, stop recording. And if you'd like to use the rest of the class time to quickly review and jump on this, uh, if, if everything else is in order and your other assignments and solutions have been submitted and, and resubmitted, then uh, please, by all means, uh, make productive use of the class time. Otherwise, feel free to stay in the session so we can work Q&A with specific challenges. That's all I have for today. Thank you for joining us. And before I stop sharing or stop recording, are there any questions or uh, comments anyone would like to make before we halt the session? Okay.